things I randomly think about are I just want to know how many guys really liked fat girls but didn't admit it because the girl was fat. The reason Most men that are dating fat girls are probably only dating them because they think they have no other choice or they're very, very down bad or they don't have many options at all. When I was like 20 or like 19 or 20 years old and I first started getting into the dating pool, I was very, very down bad. I would identify as a greased up human being. You know, a lot of people nowadays can identify as like transgenders. I would dress, I would literally identify as a grease, a, a physical embodiment of grease. I just kind of like emanated wetness whenever I walked around and not like in the very, very aesthetic sense in the sense of like women might look upon me and become wet. No, I was looked, I just looked wet and I was very very um low in priority I didn't have a lot of resources I was very very ugly uh I had nothing going for me at all so of course um I took whatever I can get I was just trying to inject myself into anything and anything at all as much as I possibly could and I eventually did find somebody to have sex with um it was very very undesirable I didn't like it at all I'm sure the woman that I had sex with was very, very beautiful and amazing, spectacular, awesome, beautiful person. She was black. As you guys know, I am a snow bunny. Um, not not from the, like, very, very technical sense. Like, I'm not sitting here looking for black ladies. I'm just kind of throwing up my rod, reeling and whatever I get back in. And then it just happens to be, oh, look, a bit, you know, a black lady. So... The first person I did have sex with was a very, very big black lady. I didn't enjoy it. Her wig fell off in the middle of it, and uh, it was very, very, like, traumatizing for me. So I would never do that again. But it was at the point in my life where I just didn't have a lot of options, and I was very down bad. And I can relate to a lot of fellow gentlemen like that that just maybe haven't had sex in, like, two, three, four, five years. And they're just, like, very, very lonely, very, very depressed. A lot of guys nowadays have absolutely no social skills at all because most men don't even interact with women because they're very, very intimidated by women. And most men in general don't even really have social interactions in general. So it's very difficult nowadays to find any type of person to be with. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure very many women also don't want to date uh, fat guys in general. There's only so many times that you can I mean, you could be indulging within the art of sexual satisfaction with a gentleman and he just comes up behind you and drops his his gut right on your back. Like that's obviously not very attractive for most people. Or if you're giving a fellatio, what is he going to do? Like to hold it up the whole time or like drop it on your head? It's got to be terrible, right? It's got to be absolutely, uh, 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 it's got to be a traumatizing experience, 100%. So in general, why would I want to date somebody that is literally not caring about themselves in a very fundamental way? I mean, if your health is literally not even within check, you're obviously going to be skating by and you're probably, you probably don't give a fuck about anything else in general when it comes to your health. Cause like, obviously your, your body is going to be the biggest part of you like that. Everybody's going to see. I know a lot of these people will sit there and go, but I'm a great girl. I'm a great human being. I'm great personality wise. I'm funny. I'm charismatic. Everybody thinks that everybody everywhere thinks that they have a great personality. You're not unique in that. And you want me to forgive the fact that you look like a Baskin Robin to ice cream, but you have a great personality with all due respect, with no respect. Everybody thinks they have a great personality. Even Adolf Hitler thought he had a great personality. So like, you're not unique in that. And I don't give a fuck personally. So don't think that you're special. Um, lose weight so you can find other people to be with. And the people that you think like, oh, how many of these dudes are actually attracted to me? Or how many of these dudes are like physically attracted to fat girls, but they're not saying that to their friends or whatever because they think it's going to be an embarrassment to date fat girls? Not most. Not most. Most people are just dating you because they're just trying to get by or they think this is what they can get to or they're just waiting for the next thing to hit them and then they move up to that. I know it sucks a lot of ass to say that, but that's majority of people. It sucks to say, but it is what it is. Like you're fundamentally really, really unhealthy. Most people just don't want to date somebody that's really unhealthy. So I hope that if you're having this problem and you're finding out that the guys that you're dating just don't want to be seen with you or whatever, odds are they just don't want to be seen with you because they don't like you or they're just being with you because hashtag you have vagina and that sucks to say, but a lot of guys are just in it for the vagina and uh, you know, a vagina is vagina at the end of the day. It sucks a lot of ass to say that, but it is what it is. Same thing with women too, by the way. I'm sure um, many women just don't want to date fat guys. But didn't admit it because the girl was fat. The reason I bring this up is because I feel like a lot of men are attracted to fat women. I disagree. I think most men are not attracted to fat women. I think the majority, greater than 50%, I would actually say the greater than 80% of men are not attracted to fat ladies in general because it's just very, very unattractive to be with somebody that is fundamentally dying on a daily basis. If you're not caring about your health in a very general way, why the fuck am I going to date you? It, odds are, if you're not caring about your health in, a, in this very, very, like, very, very general way, your body, you probably don't care about your health in other aspects either. Like, you probably just walking around like a, 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 I don't know, like a grease stain on the earth. And you know what? That's fine if that's the way you want to live, but you can't expect other people to put up with that. So, if you're saying, like, you feel like a lot of men are att attracted to fat ladies, nah. <laughs> Most people in general are not. Stuff to say, but it is what it is. But they just won't 
date them because they care what other people think. It's a cope. Massive cope. Most people don't give a fuck what other people think. Um, maybe to one degree or another, maybe if you're on the social media aspect of life, but most people are not really appeasing to other people, maybe your friends and family and stuff like that. But for the most part, most people are just trying to smell your vagina and GG. That's it. And I know that sucks a lot of dick, but you know I got to keep it a buck with you. It is what it is. Women too, don't get me wrong, um, a lot of women out there don't want to date fat guys. Fat guys are obviously very, very unattractive, but I feel like it's a little bit of difference um, dating fat women as opposed to dating fat men because usually women are looking for the secondary features of a, of a man. So whether or not he's funny, uh, charismatic, he's fu he's good to talk to, he has all these good character traits. Whereas men uh, will dismiss a woman because she looks like a, you know, a bag of potatoes. So it sucks. But you just got to understand what you're looking for. If you're dating men, you got to understand they're going to be looking at your physical appearance first and foremost. There's a reason why men casually just look like walk around with sweatpants and uh, sweatpants and a hoodie all the time. And women wear makeup and wigs and all this other stuff uh, because women know that men want women that are attractive and men know that they have to work on themselves physically even though men are slacking off on that the amount of men that i know nowadays that literally go over to their mom's house to do their laundry because they don't know how to do laundry or wash their own dishes or whatever like there's a lot of men out there that i feel like could be upping their game by just simply doing regular household chores but they feel like they shouldn't be able to do that because hashtag i'm a man bro no dude just you know do your own dishes dude trust me women think it's hot and also go to the gym to work out the glutoral muscles i get it you think it's gay to have big butt cheeks it's not it's cool it's really cool to have big butt cheeks it's an aesthetical thing so don't be afraid to work out butt cheeks as a man which is so crazy to me because what what anyway those are just thoughts. what's what's crazy to you about that 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 men are not trying to date you because you're fat or the fact that you think men are not trying to date you because it's bad aesthetically either way it's not good right like think about the setting that you're in Either this guy doesn't want to date you because he doesn't like fat women, and that's the majority of men, which sucks because you're a fat lady. Therefore, you're literally being negated by the majority of men. Or he's not – he's not he's dating you, but he's not dating you on a very, very public level because he's afraid what other people will think. Either way, it's not good. I actually think that dating you on a public level would be worse because that just means that he's giving you what you want, but he's not giving you what you want. So it's like a push and pull type thing. You're going to always be complaining. At least the other guy's just not dating you. What's the being thunk, chair? Yo, I gotta be so honest with you. I'm polyamorous, I have a fiance, and I'm dating. I'm dating other people, I have a boyfriend as well, and something that I'm struggling to like deal with, and that's been an adjustment for sure, is balancing. If you guys don't know, Jay Bay here, who has been a notorious individual upon this channel, is I guess done. I guess they're done with the travel vlogs. Like, you know, like you can only travel so many times. Plus size travel at the bottom, like, like as you can see there. I don't know how much money you need to consistently travel like that, but I guess her views dipped heavily because she stopped uploading for a really long time. I guess she took a break. I don't know exactly what she means to take a break from. Um, literally every video that she ever put out in the last like year had just literally been like a 30 second video with a, uh, a good two minute at the very end of it. Like check out my socials. And it was, that's all it was. So I don't know what the fuck she took a break from. It looked like she wasn't really doing much in general, but you know how it is. Fat people lazy. Not all fat people. You know what I'm saying. But Jay Bay now uh, in a relationship with her husband or fiance and now is also dating a man in prison. I've been keeping up with this lore. She's dating a man in prison right now. And she said he's beautiful, hot, amazing, spectacular human being, and also has a side piece. So Jay Bay right now has many, many men that wish to all consume her in a very, very sexual manner and also has a husband which is beautiful in a way too. Uh, her husband is also trying to find out what he likes and he seems to be dating men from what I can see. And that's beautiful as well. That's, you know, gay, but it's cool, whatever. Um, so it's it's very interesting that Jay Bay would have all these men that are like potential candidates for her. I mean, really think about this. Jay Bay is getting more action than you right now. How do you feel about that? But it may not be the best of all actions, right? Uh, I remember one time I was talking to this guy and he had told me, he's like, David, what's your body count? I was like, ah, uh, four, right? Four, right? And not a lot, but, you know, I've had sex with those people many, many times, hundreds of times. So it's not like it's a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had sex with one person a hundred times. You've had sex with one person one time. But he was like, oh, really, bro? That's all you got? <laughs> and I was like, oh, what's your body count? My body count, he's like, my body count is 40. I was like, Whew. You don't even have kneecaps, bro. You're like five foot two. What are you talking about? Your body count's 40. How's it 40, bro? You're literally the most unappealing dude I've ever seen in my life. And that's what I was thinking. And he was like, you want to see the last shorty? You want to see the last shorty that I was with? Yeah, bro. You want to see this? You want to see this bitch? She bad. She bad for real. I was like, yeah, yeah, show me. Show me this woman had no teeth. All gums. All gums. 
um, you know, four kids, crackhead probably. I don't know, dude. Um, he had to drive her around town. He had told me this. He's like, I had to drive her around town and I had to, you know, take her to the DMV to get her license renewed or whatever, take her kids to the thing. And then eventually I had sex with her. Oh, so the women that you're having sex with are a very low caliber, um, which is fine. You know, it's okay. Like if that's what you want, if that's what you want to do and that's how you choose to navigate the dating market, I get it. Um, to him, vagina is vagina. But uh, personally, I just don't think not that all human beings are created equal. I wouldn't indulge in the art of having sex with somebody that didn't have teeth or somebody that was like living on the street um, because I personally, you know, value my penis and I also value not having STDs and stuff like that. But if he wanted to do that, it's totally fine. The point I'm making is some people don't give a fuck. Some people will date dudes in prison. Some dudes, you know, just because he got caught doesn't mean he's a catch. You know what I'm saying, dude? And I think that a lot of people... <sighs> have no standards. And I think J-Bay might be one of those people. Uh, given the fact that she's also somebody that's pretty up there. I mean, if you were dating somebody like J-Bay, I wouldn't want to be seen in public either with this person. So maybe that guy that's in prison might actually not even be in prison. He might just be telling her he's in prison because the alternative is worse. <laughs> Balancing multiple relationships with different people who are so very different has just been a challenge. And I'm trying my best to figure out like my groove and to make sure that I prioritize my current partner, but also make sure I set aside time for those new relationships to develop and build. I think that if you're going to do like this polyamorous thing, it might just be better to just have sex with a, a number of people instead of like actually developing relationships. What does your future husband think about this? Like your fiance, does, is he just okay with that? Like you posting videos online about all your relationships and how you're side piecing the side pieces. Like how does this work exactly? Um, you're developing relationships when your husband is like, what? Is he just like desert out there? He's just like begging for time. I, I, I just love to know what he has to think about this. I think it, if you're going to do polyamory, maybe just try out sex first because, um, multiple relationships and the main one that you have to do that's got to be you not you have no time to do anything else i don't know what this person does on a daily basis i'm presuming nothing given the fact that she literally has three boyfriends um i, I presume it's nothing right it's got to be um that's the one thing i've learned so far that i can do to like try and balance it a little bit better but i think just overall trying to like figure out what it's like to have partners that want your attention and deserve your attention and deserve you what does your husband think though does he not deserve your attention too how much attention does he get what it's like to have partners that want your attention and deserve your attention and deserve you um and the whole you is like so well they're not getting the whole you right naturally i mean I'm, there is a lot of you but in, in, you know in percentages everybody's getting a piece okay you can't you can't give out 100 percent of the pie to everybody that's not how that works somebody's gonna have to get a little bit less or maybe you're portioning it out incorrectly because you like somebody more at one particular time or you know obviously you're not going to give everybody a hundred percent of every of you that's not how that works want your attention and deserve your attention and deserve you um and the whole you is like so difficult and i want to impossible document like what i learned throughout this process so if you want more content like that make sure you hit that follow button no. i really I really love that J-Bay is like, this is her new era, but uh, I don't I don't think that's gonna work out. But I, I wish her the best. Um, and I hope that she continues with those travel vlogs because those things were cringy as fuck and they were incredibly funny to watch. Um, but I hope also she posts more content about her deliberate efforts to give herself fully to all the menses in her life, to please them fully, to ensure that the relationships grow in her polyamorous endeavors. But I don't think it's gonna work out, but anyway. Let's hear what this this uh, melanated individual has to say with this lovely woman, mother, I don't know. How old are you? I'm 25. That's rough. That's real rough. 25, huh? Damn, that's, that's tough. That's real tough. 25? Go ahead. As a plus-sized woman, do you think that your weight plays a part in the men that you're able to attract? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Most people are not attracted to to fat ladies or fat people in general so yeah yeah 100 percent. let's see what she says no i personally don't think so but also i mean i was a little thinner back before i met my husband but if anything it affects more of my mental health but if someone's not going to love me for how, what i look like now it doesn't matter what i used to look like or what i'm going to look like in the future okay I'm, I, I really hate when people say, if you can't take me at my worst, you can't get me at my best, which is really, really folded and sucked. It's like, it's such a bad line of logic. So are you just like fully admitting that you're at a bad body size right now? You know, it's not good. You know, it's unhealthy. Does your husband have nothing to say about the fact that you've gained weight since you've dated him? Is this just like an okay statement for him to, to acknowledge or what? Let me, let me ask you a question. Let's put this in a hypothetical. You know, you know scat packs. You know Hellcats, right? Um, the 707s, as you see, uh, the black guys driving around consistently. I don't know why it's always a black guy car, but whenever, whenever I see a scat pack, a Hellcat on the street, and I'm driving next to him, I always think, 
that's a black guy. That's 100% a black guy. That's got to be a black guy. And I drive by. Guess what? Black guy. I knew it. <laughs> I knew that was going to be a black guy, and it was a black guy. So I don't know why black guys love the scat packs. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm sure a whole bunch of white dudes can also drive scat packs, but a whole bunch of black dudes love them cars. I like them too. I think they're nice, beautiful pieces of equipment. Obviously not good for the environment. 707, Jesus Christ. I'm going to gas mileage on that thing, like 10. But anyway, let's say you bought a 2020 Hellcat. Beautiful car, amazing car, brand new. Four years later, that car, whole bunch of mileages. Maybe the car is busted now. The catalyst converter got stolen, all this other stuff. Would you say that car is more valuable the day you bought it or the day the, the, to the day? Would you say that after it's got all these miles and it's been putting you put all this weight, extra weight on the car, uh, you know, it's missing features and things like that. Would you say that car is more valuable? No, you would not naturally because the car has probably got busted up suspension. The dude's been drag racing that shit. So the tires are bald and you're sitting here talking about some, you know, even though it's not as pretty as it was when it when I first got it, it's still, you know, it's still pretty good. Right. Because you guess what? If you can't buy this car at its worst, then you don't deserve it at its best. Right. It's just dumb. It's bullshit. I hate this ideology, man, because these people are literally admitting that they're busted and they're just trying to like do it under the guise of you're a bad person because if you don't want to date me at my fat self, then you're a bad person. I, well, I guess I'm just a bad person because if somebody is physically attracted to you and you change that physical attraction, then naturally that person's not going to be attracted to that thing anymore. Now, they could change their opinion and they could find that thing that you are now maybe more attractive, but odds are that's probably not going to happen. People like what they like. And if you're sitting here proclaiming that you gained weight with your husband – does your husband not care that you gained weight? Is he just okay with it? Maybe he's just putting up with it. Maybe he just doesn't give a fuck. Like, what is going on with that? He probably doesn't, like, think you're more attractive now than he did when you got together. You said you said as much as yourself. It wouldn't work anyways. Well, when you met your husband years ago, how much thin are you talking? Not, that's that's a good question, man. How much are we talking? Not much. Just like, like I mean, I was still thick. But what, okay, first of all, that's kind of crazy. Still thick implies that you are thick currently. That is not what you are. You are definitely obese. I mean, you literally out. Don't, don't, don't ever. Don't ever in your entire life say some shit like that. That is crazy as fuck. Thick is insane. We got to stop using these <laughs> these synonymous terms. Thick and blig are obese. No, nah, -uh. you are not thick. You are blig. Thin are you talking? Not, not much. Just like, I mean, I was still thick by any means but i mean you're in college you know life happens so i'm what does that even mean life happens are you first of all when somebody says you were in college life happens i usually hear i suck the dick i had i let a dude do anal on me my mouth got pregnant i took a chance you know um i went to a frat party i became gay for a day like I, that's what i hear i don't hear uh, it was college i gained 200 pounds you never hear that like i said i'm only 25 so Ooh, kind of crazy that she's 25 bro i can't even believe that do you say your husband is bigger than you same size or small well he's six foot four Beautiful. um i'm five foot four Damn. so a whole foot taller than me um he weighs more than i do okay how much do you weigh you're five foot four he's six foot four um he can't hold more weight than you. Ah, damn, how much you weigh, bro? But he weighs more than I do, but he's not by any means humongous for his height, so. So what's your biggest struggle when it comes on to losing weight? Really, like I said, I mean, I work all the time, and it's just, you definitely make the effort where you want to. It's just the motivation, you know? That's fine. At least she could acknowledge the fact that she doesn't want to lose weight herself. That's fine. That's okay. I mean, she tried to come up with an excuse at the very beginning, like, oh, yeah, I work a lot, so therefore I can't eat less i suppose it's very easy to eat a lot of food especially if you don't give a fuck or you're just like not monitoring your calories a lot of people have no idea how much food they're actually eating so fine. at least she's being honest about it you know i mean she tried to but she ultimately came to the right conclusion uh, there's no excuse to it it's just really the motivation and once it kind of stacks on it stacks on and you kind of feel yourself having to lose more than you used to because you just didn't take the time for yourself to really fix it true that's true at least she could acknowledge that dude keeping it a buck that's all i need so i've talked a lot on this page about what is the line between fetish and preference specifically regarding fatness i've always asked this question like how much are you willing to give up for the somebody else's fetish is always a really really good question and i hear oftentimes people say one of two things it's either don't date men because because they want you to be fat or date men because you should want to date a man that's already dated fat women that has prior experiences with that and they actually like that it's either one i mean it's either a guy that has no idea or he's just dating you to date you or a guy that wants to date you for a fetish or like because he likes fat women which could also be perceived as a fetish either way it's not good i just never understood though um 
which side is the more optimal side? Because in both sides, you're getting fucked perpetually. D either this guy really, really likes your gut or he doesn't. Um, so, like, which one do you choose? Somebody leave it down below. Personally, I don't like it when people fetishize me um, completely. But then again, I don't really have anything that can be fetishized, I suppose. Um, I guess maybe, like, my ginormous mega massive megalodon meaty musty meat. Maybe. But not many people even know about that until I whip it out. So, it's like... That's usually an end game thing for me. So it's not really ever like I don't really have many things that could be fetishized. But if you're in a position to where you are being fetishized or like you have been fetishized, I'm interested in hearing your perspective and like how you would cope with that or like how would you uh, navigate that particular solution. But like anyway, I'm here. I'm, I'm willing to listen to what more than Tracy says, even though I think more than Tracy is mentally deficient in many, many ways. Go ahead, though. And I think one way to identify a fetish as opposed to a preference is, is it framed as like a novelty? So like a lot of times, if you're a fat person on like dating apps or sometimes even just in the world, you'll get approached by people. And in my experience, this has always been men who specifically are like, hey, your body's big. I'm into that. And a lot of times people who've never been with a Guys are approaching you, like, out in public and saying, like, hey, your body is big. I like that. Who is saying that? Besides, like, maybe a homeless man that's deranged that's also going to ask you for $5 so he can get something at Mickey D's. What do you – when has this ever happened to you? Can you please give an example? As a, okay, the reason why the majority of men approach women is because men – um, have to most women don't approach men which is really ass because like if you like a guy and you think he's cool whatever then you should have the nuts i know you don't have physical nuts but you should have the nuts to go up and ask that guy hey um you seem pretty cool or whatever the fuck um do you want to like do something sometime or whatever i get like nine times out of ten that guy will probably say yes unless he's already predisposed to a relationship or maybe he's just gay but most dudes will say yes and so men feel a lot of pressure to ask women to go on dates or do something because otherwise nothing will ever happen so Men have to be active in that particular realm. Not always, of course, there are exceptions to this rule, but for the majority of men, yeah, it's a fact. Like, most men have to do that. Uh, but what tends to happen nowadays is, like, a lot of guys have absolutely no social interaction, so it just kind of comes out really, really cringe or really, really crazy for a lot of guys or creepy or whatever. So that might be what she's referring to here. I, I just sort of really struggle to have any, like, any time in life. Unless you're talking about something that happened when you were in high school, maybe that makes sense because, like, you're in high school and, of course, like, things are going to be cringy regardless in high school. But anyway. Who specifically are like, hey, your body's big, I'm into that. And a lot of times people who've never been with a fat person before can be, like, kind of weird about hitting on you. But recently I saw this Reddit. Is that not weird? Thread where men were talking about how, like, they had been with a fat person and they like were describing it as this kind of novelty or this like low moment and the whole idea was like i wouldn't normally do this but i did this one time cool. and there's a lot of people who do approach fat people in like the sexual realm as that sort of like novelty experience where it's like oh let's see what it would be like or a down bad moment where they don't have many options and they're choosing to date a fat person because they have no options right literally what you said and then for some of them they end up talking about it in a very gross and stigmatizing well you just completely glossed over the other like aspect of it which was i wouldn't normally do this but i was at a low point or like that's usually majority of the time where people are just taking whatever they can get because they have nothing to begin with so anything is better than nothing right way but for some they just like like, use it as this kind of like fun kinky thing they tried but i think with I, I just disagree i think nobody is using it like that i don't think anybody's bragging about having sex with a fat person i just don't see that ever happening like oh can you imagine a girl bragging about that oh my god sarah it was so amazing like i just couldn't find his penis for like the first 45 minutes and his gut literally smelled like expired apples oh it was so great it was like one of the best expensive experiences of my life because i had to pay for his food like that's like that's what i imagined it'd be like the same thing on the other side like i could just, i don't even know if i was having sex with her technically bro uh yeah we, we i went over to her house and i was i was in something but i looked down and i, I thought it was your armpit for 45 minutes i have no idea what it was same thing like you like what is this bro i don't know what's happening so i don't think that many people are bragging about it i don't think many people are talking about that i don't think many people are looking at that as a kind experience sure there might be that odd person but the majority of time most people just don't even want to talk about that stuff so they're probably using it as a, a means to you know smell a quick vagina or get dick real quick i don't know man this conception of fatness as this like novelty fetish thing there's a why are you completely not acknowledging the other aspect of that you brought it up but you just completely glossed over that very clear acknowledgement that it's like that's not the normal thing to do true that's not who i'd normally sleep with that's not like the usual item on the menu of sexuality for me i think you're you're kind of making it seem like it's a little bit more malicious than 
it, is that it actually is. I think the majority of these people are just kind of saying like, yeah, um, you know, I was kind of down bad or it was a low point in my life and I was just willing to do anything and anything. So I just kind of like did this thing. Um, so I understand what you're saying. But yeah, most people just don't want to have sex with fat people because it's probably like really uncomfortable. It's like eating a really fatty steak compared to a really good piece of steak where there's not much fat on the side or it's like something that's imbued into it, you know? And so even if somebody is trying to like hit on you or approach you or like proposition you for sex, they will say it sometimes in this way that's like, because you're not what normal people like, I'd like to try you out. And so I see what you're saying. You're saying like, because you're already low on the totem pole, you should feel worthy or you should feel like good about the fact that I'm willing to have a piece of you even though you're literally not optimal in any way. That's what you're saying? I get it. I get that. That's valid. That completely makes a lot of sense. I totally understand what you're saying there. So I think a key distinction between fetish and preference is like, are they- I just don't even know if that person is really fetishizing you at all. If somebody's approaching you and saying like, I'm willing to have sex with you, um, but you should probably think that is a good thing because like you probably don't have sex at all because you're really, really busted looking. I don't know if that really means that they're fetishizing you or just more or less they're just kind of taking pity on you or they're just maybe gaslighting you to thinking that they have more options than they actually do so they can have sex with you. It might just be that. Uh, I don't know if any of these dudes are actually fetishizing you. I don't even think that that's a good example at all, actually. They using you as a placeholder for any other fat person because fat is a category they want. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I hear what you're saying. It makes a lot of sense, but like the example you gave just didn't make any sense at all or are they just attracted to you because they're attracted to fat people generally you could probably just ask maybe like there's a few litmus tests that you can you, you can run by them i'm not really sure because i don't date fat people i don't date fat people so i have no idea but uh maybe if you guys know down below about a litmus test or something that you can say to somebody there's a fly in here um to achieve the rank of understanding if, if, if they actually love if they actually like you for you let me know because it's totally fine to have a preference. It's just that when you disclose it in that type of way, or when you lead with that sort of assumption of novelty, it's actually very mean because you are automatically- I just, I just don't think that's happening though. Is it happening? Somebody can let me know. Maybe I'm just like out of the loop when it comes to dating preferences as women. But I, I, I mean, I know guys are creeps. I know guys are really, really like deranged and stuff like that. And they just don't understand social cues. But I just can't imagine, unless you're on dating apps, of course, if you're on dating apps, and I'm sure many men will hit you up and go, hey, my penis is hard. What you want to do about that shit? Um, hey, what color is your vagina today? You know, like, hey, if you could measure your boobs in inches, how big would they be? Oh, my bad feet. You know, I'm sure there are plenty of guys out there that would say that. But I just don't think it's happening very often in public or at least like guys meeting up with you and saying that shit. I'm sure it's like maybe an online thing only, but you could let me know down below. Saying to this person that you are supposedly trying to get to hook up with you that like they're actually not the standard they're actually not normal they're not normal that's not a normal thing to be you're not supposed to be enlarged you're not supposed to be massive you're not supposed to be a big person and basically just within this whole thing is like you're not normal you're special you're different you're not a i don't know about special but regular you know girl and so that's your entire appeal is that you're not normal well if we're talking about having sex right and you're saying you're not really being prioritized based off of who you are as a person, but you're more or less being prioritized based off of the category at which it, that you're in. I get it. But then again, you're having sex, right? You're just, this is just a hookup thing or you're just trying to have sex with somebody. That shouldn't really matter. I mean, probably would be better to be prioritized based off the person that you're with. But then again, if you're just having sex with that person, does it matter? Does it really matter if you're just having, trying to find penis or trying to find a vagina? I mean, it sucks, but you get what I'm saying? Like if it's just a sexual occasion, you guys are just trying to have sex with each other. Does it really matter if somebody is just fetishizing you based off of the category? I mean, maybe you have boundaries, but like, I don't think it's really that important to be honest. AKA that you're fat. Therefore, again, you're reduced to your body. And that well, most people, if you're talking about having sexual experiences, most people are going to be reduced to their bodies, especially if you're talking about like a one night stand. Now, if you're talking about like dating somebody, it's going to be significantly different naturally. And that's what I defined in my previous video as being a fetish. I saw a video on here from another creator where they were talking about dating and intimacy when you are mid-sized or plus-sized. Normally, I like to stitch them. I like to give them credit. But this particular creator had their stitches and duets off. They also made it where you can't, like, save the video. So I'm just going to respect their privacy. But they made a lot of really great points. And I want to expand on some of the points they made. One of the things they talked about was if you are whatever adjective you want to use, plus size, mid-size, curvy. Wig. And you are using dating apps. You tend to feel the need to really make sure you're not catfishing anyone. Now, if you followed me for a while, you know that I gave up my dating apps. They're just 
awful. When I was still using them, I was very, very conscious about making sure I included full body shots, even swimsuit shots, so people knew exactly what they were getting into. And That's probably a good idea. A lot of people already have like this negative context behind big people on dating apps because they think that they're just trying to catfish you or like meet up on dates or whatever. And you know what? Back in the early days of dating apps when I was on them, um, there were several times where I saw somebody and had not known that there were like red flags that you can use in order to determine that this person is lying. But the amount of people that I saw that just only had face pictures and I was like, oh, this person's really cool. They're really cute. They're really attractive. They have great hair. They have awesome skin. This is a really cool person, right? But then you meet up and you're like, oh, you're way shorter than I thought and you're way bigger than you said that you were. You said BBW. You're literally like 400 pounds. You're like four foot two. Like you're massive. This is – you are do, I, do, I, do, do you identify as a bowling ball? Why are you so big? So there have been a few times that I've been catfished, maybe two or three times, but – in general, I do feel like there's a negative context there, so you should probably be prioritizing your dating profile to ensure that whatever profile pictures or whatever you, pictures you're putting up there are accurate to who you are as a human being because a lot of men or a lot of people in general are already on the back foot thinking that you're lying. So this is true. Not because I'm ashamed, not because I'm embarrassed. I love my body. Well, that's true. Okay, fine. You love your body. But is that uh, an excuse to not change it? I love the way I look. But I know I'm not everybody's taste, and that's okay. But I'm not going to give anyone a reason to think that I catfished them. But that's also kind of the beauty of not having dating apps is now, because I'm meeting people in person, they see who I am. <laughs> it takes away a lot of that pressure. From that point, what she was leading to is kind of a fear of intimacy that a lot of us who are curvy have. We're afraid that once we take off the clothes, even though they've seen us in person, that we somehow catfished them. There is a difference between somebody that dresses in, like, clothes compared to what they look like naked. And they, they, I know many people will say that same thing. You can look good with clothes on, but when you take off your shirt or you take off your pants or you take off whatever, you might not look exactly what the other person might think you look like, if that makes any sense. So I do agree that there is a case to, like, maybe feel insecure about a certain body part. Like, you could be, like, Nick Jonas or whatever that guy was that has an extra nipple somewhere. Or, like, was it Harry Styles? I don't know which one it was. But – you could be like that, um, or maybe you just don't look as good as you think you do with your shirt on. Maybe you got like, you know, chicken scratch on your chest or whatever. You just have no definition, or maybe you're very, very big. Maybe you're holding your weight in areas that maybe you just didn't see because it was very ambiguous when you were wearing your jeans or your shirt. So, yes, this is a fact. This does happen, 100%. And the point she made, and I think we've all seen the clip from the movie Eat, Pray, Love, is has anyone ever thrown you out of the bedroom once you took off your clothes? <sighs> Probably not, but... That doesn't mean that that person's regretting what they did. You know, they probably just committed too far and they're like, fuck it, I'm already here. I might as well just keep going at this point. So, I mean, sure, sure. I mean, but if it's if it's just about sex, then, like, I guess it doesn't matter. Like, why does it matter what you look like then at the end of the day, I suppose? Because they just ultimately want to get a nut off, right? Is that what the, is that what the thing, is, is that what you're saying here? Like, why does it matter, bro? This person's just using you for your body anyway. So what if your body looks like a bag of asparagus? Like, so the fuck what? I guess, I suppose, dude. I mean, but that's kind of a fucked up way to look at it. Are we talking about sex? I thought we were talking about dating. I can say that 100% of the time, I have never been tossed out of anyone's room after taking off the clothes. Yeah, that would be pretty That would be pretty sad if that was the case. If you got tossed out and somebody's like, yeah, take off your clothes. Take off. <gasps> oh, ah, ah! That would be that'd be fucked up. That'd be that'd be pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure nobody's doing that. Um, I'm happy that you've never been tossed out of somebody's room because you took off your clothes. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> Listen, baby, if they. It's not really an indication of anything. But go ahead. I think that you catfished them at that point. You got bigger problems. That creator was trying to call for the plus size, mid size, curvy girls and guys to stop worrying about what people are going to think once the clothes come off. And I think yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Definitely. But you should be trying to improve um, because most definitely that is going to be a concern for most people. I think that is such an important message. It takes a lot of effort to get to that point of confidence. And I say that as someone who didn't always have that confidence. But baby, I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. I promise you, if you get to the point of going to the bedroom with them, they are not going to throw you out. Yeah. You know why? Because they've already made it the full nine yards. They've already put in the work. They've already gotten to the end goal. Why, when they got to the finish line, did they turn around and go, never mind? Of course not. Like, maybe the trophy is not what they thought it was going to be, but it's still a trophy, right? Nonetheless, why the fuck would they... I just don't even understand this shit. Like, are we really trying to make a case that when, you, when you're when you about to have sex with a guy, it's a good thing that he sees your body and goes, 
oh, well, is that really a good thing? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but I hear I understand what you're saying. It's just a bad point. It, it's fine. They it's, know what it's very stupid, but go off. They are getting into. Stop being afraid of it. Own it. Confidence is hot. And that is a direct quote that someone who I thought would never take me to the bedroom said when they took me to the bedroom. Who who are you talking to? Sometimes a lot of people put a lot of value in having sex with people, and I just don't think there's a lot of value there. It might be a little bit more impressive for guys because most dudes don't really hold the keys to have sex with people. So when a guy has sex with somebody, it's a little bit more impressive compared to a girl having sex with people. So if a girl is saying like, oh, yeah, um, I didn't think that this person, this guy was going to have sex with me, but he did. And oh, my God, like it, it's, you know, it's crazy. I, I don't really like I don't really look at it as anything other than you just like you know what I'm saying like usually women are the ones that control sex so if that's the case and you were surprised that this guy took you to the bed if anything it would be the other way around you took him to bed you gave him the opportunity to have sex with you so um I don't know why you would put so much value on that like this person didn't you thought this person wouldn't find you attractive but he did I don't know man I'm not trying to say this person didn't want to have sex with you I'm not saying this person wasn't lusting for you but probably like most of the time he just probably wanted to have sex and he saw you and he was like, this is an opportunity and this person's okay with it. So that's not an indication of a person thinking you're hot or you're very, very attractive. You just, maybe you're hot enough. Get ready with me while I talk about dating. Every couple of months, I have like a renewed interest in the dating landscape and seeing what's out there. <laughs> the funny thing about dating apps is that no one has ever actually asked me on a date, right? That's sad. Damn, that's really sad. On dating apps or in general, man, that's, that's, I need that distinction. But men do feel extremely comfortable hitting me up with their most illicit thoughts. Yeah. I wish I could put the screenshots up, but this video would definitely get reported. I think my experiences on dating apps just to, just so everybody knows that is true women do get hit up with the most disgusting shit like hey guess what my dick is out what you want to do about it oh man my penis is so big damn do you have a vagina by any chance like i don't know guys are really fucking disgusting even me like sometimes i get um you'll get hit up by guys or whatever on instagram just like hey bro i just beat off to your face how do you think what do you think about that oh thanks i guess bro speak to the larger problem of the dehumanization of fat women. I don't think it's the dehumanization of fat women. It's probably the dehumanization of women in general because most dudes are looking at women as like objects. So um, I understand what you're saying because you're probably thinking of yourself as a lesser in terms of like women in general because you're not being pursued on dates in general. So of course, like, you know, you're probably looking at it lower. So I understand that. But in general, men are probably looking at you as like lesser human beings. A lot of dudes think like that. And and younger guys younger guys usually and how men don't a lot of the times actually see fat women as viable partners so much as they see them as sex objects dating apps in general are gonna probably skew towards the sexual genre more than any other so uh you should be expecting that there are going to be more people on those apps looking specifically just for sex and then they get so mad when you're not interested and it's like oh do they i would okay maybe 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 they just don't have a lot of options i always felt like if somebody wasn't interested in me i was just like oh okay no problem thanks bye like because there's plenty of other people that are going to be interested in me that's fine it's not that i'm like cocky or bragging or whatever like why am i wasting my time with somebody that obviously doesn't want to give me a chance or um pursue anything with me that's fine like this person's obviously got their own life to live i got my own life to live what's the point of wasting my time uh thinking about somebody or fighting for somebody that doesn't want to fight or be with me in general so it's like whatever Oh, well, you're a fat, whatever, whatever, anyway, like, okay, girl. <laughs> I think it's crazy how quickly and how easily the word fat is weapon, like, attempted to be weaponized and used as, like, an insult. Because it is, most of the time. Most people don't want to be fat. Most people know that being fat is negative because it comes with a whole bunch of health effects and um, just being unattractive in general. So when somebody calls you fat, there is a negative context behind it because, in general, it is negative. But... The situation of it all is that I'm not ashamed of being fat. I'm happy that you're not ashamed of being fat, but it is most definitely most people's like arch enemy. Like they don't want to be fat because they know that if they are fat, it's going to be negative to them across the board. But I'm happy that you've taken back that word of power. Seems great for you. Definitely. 
Even though you're literally talking about the insecurities of being fat, but go off. Being fat isn't synonymous with being ugly. That That's true. It's not synonymous with being ugly. But there are, like, when somebody says fat, there's a lot of things that ring to mind. There's a lot of, like, okay, this person's got health problems, health defects, um, very, very obese. They got a big gut, big stomach. Most people don't find that attractive, can't walk. I don't know, maybe high blood pressure, maybe have, a, like, a poor respiratory functions. Like, there's a lot of things that come to mind. And I think it's, like, you know, come on now. Let's be, let's be honest here for a second. You understand that as well. You know the reason why. Don't act like, oh, just because you have this nuanced understanding of the word fat that somehow other people are, like, lesser than you or, like, you know more than them because you think of this in a different way. You know that how other people think. Stop. That's a sentence with a period at the end of it. And also, I know like society frowns upon women talking kindly about themselves, but I know I'm pretty. <laughs> the reason why women... The reason, okay, first of all, in general, people frown upon it because it's very pick me and it's very cringy to make a video going like, mm, I know what I am. I know what I bring to you. I know I'm pretty. I know I'm gorgeous. I know I'm this. I know I'm that. It's just very cringy. It's very pick me. So, like, I would always err against that because unless you're doing it as a joke or whatever, uh, it just comes off really cringy. Even if you are very, very pretty, it's just like you are such a fucking pick me. So, I mean, but I'm happy that you think you're pretty. Do I think you're pretty? I mean, it's not up to me. It's not up to me, right? I don't want anyone that doesn't want me just that's good that's happy i'm happy for you because you're fat just because i'm fat doesn't mean that you have to accept lesser treatment than what you're actually worth that's fine you don't have to but you also have to acknowledge that if you're only getting these particular you yourself have literally said you've never been asked out on a date i'm gonna assume that's in general like in real life you've never been asked on a date and on on dating apps you've never been asked on a date so it's across the board so you could say that i'm not going to accept less or i'm not going to lower my standards i'm not going to do this i'm not going to do that fine but the dating market is going to be the dating market. And if you're going to only get these options and that's all you're getting and you're not willing to change anything in order to get better options, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, sucks to suck, bro. Like, get good. You're literally complaining about something that you yourself uh, know the solution to. It would be to lose weight. But you're going to claim that you're not lesser. It's fine. You don't have to think that you're lesser, but you're only getting these options. So, like, maybe you do something about it instead of expecting everybody else to do stuff for you. Maybe? Maybe? There are so many people out there who will love you and be proud to be with you. It's a cope. It's a major cope here. This person is literally convincing themselves that they're going to play the lottery and they're going to find that one person out there that doesn't mind the fact that they're fat, even though this person is literally, uh, you know, it, it condemning their lifespan because they want to eat extra food or whatever. Uh, it's fine if you want to think like that, but it's most definitely delusional and it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, it, it just really doesn't make sense. You're literally playing the lottery ticket by by expecting one person. And by the way, how do you even know that person is going to be attractive? How do you know you're going to like that person? And how do you know they're not going to have character traits that you don't like? Uh, you know, like, is it really even a good idea to date somebody that doesn't find you physically attractive or doesn't care what you physically look like or whatever the fuck? Is that even a good thing? Um, do, is it okay with dating a guy that does find you physically attractive even though you're literally three or four times what you should be weighing? Like, I don't know. All these things are literally just gambles for you. Like, wouldn't it be better to improve yourself physically and overall? And then find somebody that's going to be attracted to those good traits as opposed to the things that are obviously not good for you. I don't know. It's probably <laughs> – I just like – sometimes I think about what these people are saying. And I think like you're literally saying red flags and you're trying to pronounce them as like good things when they're really not. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video today. Um, thank you for watching today's video. If you uh, enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it. If you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you could uh, – um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Felix because Felix is a beautiful individual. He's a beautiful, beautiful monkey. Um, he's got a chain. He's got a little chain on. Can you see the chain? Look at the chain. Wow. Chain. He's a beautiful boy. Um, he deserves love. And maybe you could put a little, a little bow in the comment section. Or if you're a member of the channel, you can also put down a little Felix emoji because there is a Felix emoji if you're a member of the channel. Felix needs some love. Felix needs some attention tonight. Okay, the bow or the Felix emoji, put that down below or just write it as the name Felix. You're a beautiful specimen of a human being, by the way. I love your devotion. I love your amazingness. I love how you're able to take your own accountability is an effect and do what you need to do in order to get stuff done that's amazing you smell great today i love that perfume or cologne whatever you're wearing or maybe your natural must that's amazing regardless uh in uh, if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys peace